take the credit, but I will say that uh, people like the Deputy Mayor uh, Linda Gibbs and uh, Robert Doerr, Commissioner, really do deserve the credit they've been focusing on uh, trying to make uh, all uh, people who live in New York City able to get good medical care and prevent disease. And if unfortunately they come down with something, uh, that we can make sure that they are well taken care of. And I'm so proud about our public hospitals in our city that really do provide the greatest care. And you can show up, I'm going to repeat to everybody, regardless of your immigration status, regardless of what language you speak, regardless of whether you have insurance or not, um, please. If, don't worry about it. Just go to the hospital if you think there's something wrong. Uh, this whole program of getting everybody enrolled in insurance really is the right thing to do. But in the meantime, don't ever say that I'm afraid to go to the hospital, particularly the AJC hospital. You know, affordable coverage uh, gives all New Yorkers really access to top quality health care on a preventive basis. And it's just that simple. The affordable, the affordable health insurance is fundamental to giving all of our young people, the healthy start, what do you like? Huh? <laughs> Seems interested? Uh, the healthy start in the life that they deserve, and it means that they're getting the preventive care that they need, and they're less likely to wind up in uh, emergency rooms with really serious or even life-threatening uh, illnesses. Uh, I think one of the things that is true uh, in healthcare is uh, we're so proud of our medical system, it really is the best in the world, but we do a pretty lousy job at preventive care, and that's why life expectancy in a lot of countries where they spend a lot less per capita for medical care, life expectancy is actually longer than it is here by two or three years. I'm so proud of the fact that in New York City, life expectancy is greater now than the country as a whole, but life expectancy in America is running three or four years behind uh, Western Europe, where they do spend three four thousand dollars less, and uh, that's because the preventive care there is better than preventive care here. Uh, we've had some great success in enrolling eligible New Yorkers in Child Health Plus on public health insurance programs, and uh, we completely support the proposed expansion of the Child Health Care Plus. And I am pleased to say that under our administration, the number of previously uninsured New Yorkers now covered by public health insurance has increased by 44% or some 800,000 men, women, and children. An astounding number. And uh, we've done that through what we call the Health Staff Initiative, and it's a collaborative effort directed by the Office of Citywide Health Insurance Access in our Human Resources Administration. Robert, you're doing a great job. It involves 14 city agencies and more than 30 facilitated enrollment organizations throughout the city. And these uh, facilitated enrollers here at uh, Ryan and Chelsea County Community Health Center and at other locations uh, across town communicate directly with New Yorkers in the communities where they live and in the languages that our residents feel comfortable in using. And because of that kind of effective cooperation, the city receives some 275,000 applications a year through facilitated enrollers from uh, New Yorkers who are seeking coverage under Family Health Plus and Medicaid. But as the governor stressed, there is still much more that we have to do, and we're certainly doing our part in New York City. For example, HRA is developing an electronic system for applying for public health insurance and expects to pilot this new system with at least one facilitated enrollment organization later this year. And to help more eligible children receive public health insurance coverage, we're currently pinpointing our enrollment efforts in neighborhoods with large numbers of eligible but unenrolled children. We're also reaching out to our immigrant communities with the message that the children are eligible for public health insurance regardless of their immigration status or that of their parents. And when the new school year starts next month, it will be the third straight year that parents will get help enrolling their children for public health insurance at the same time that they apply for free lunch or discounted school lunches. Uh, efforts like these make New York City, I think, a leader, uh, both statewide and nationally, in broadening the public health insurance enrollment. And we're fortunate to have strong partners at the community level, like the Ryan uh, Chelsea Clinton Health Center. Um, you should know that we also share Governor Spitz's determination to make sure that every uninsured child in our state has access to affordable health coverage. And as the governor has just pointed out, half of all the uninsured children in the state live in the five boroughs of New York City. 
providing these youngsters with affordable health insurance really is a goal that I wholeheartedly share with the governor, and that's why I testified to the state legislature in February, in February in favor of the governor's proposal to expand the Child Health Plus, and why I remain a strong advocate of this proposal today. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank Jerry Nadler for his help in Washington. Uh, in the end, the big flows of funds into public health in many cases are federal funds, and uh, I think Jerry really does understand the needs of, of our communities, and uh, he is fighting the good fight, and we need more Jerry Nadler's to do that for us in Washington. Uh, I should also point out that my partner down the hall in the City Hall, uh, Christine Quinn, and the Joe Brew is here as well, uh, really are an integral part of making sure that every New York City resident gets the kind of quality health care that they need that will give them the opportunity to enjoy the greatest city uh, uh, on earth and the greatest state in America and the greatest country that there is. And uh, good health is really important. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. That's, uh, that's a good segue. Jerry, why don't you come up and say a couple words? <laughs>